With just two weeks until the midterms, it is a tight, tight race down in the state of Florida. The latest Real Clear Politics average, an average of all the polls, now has Democratic Senator Bill Nelson ahead of the GOP Governor Rick Scott by just three points, so essentially neck and neck. Governor Rick Scott joins us now. Good morning to you, Governor. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. I'm heading back out to three uh, impacted counties in the Panhandle today. We still have 60,000 people without power. This uh, hurricane was like a gigantic tornado with 14-foot storm surge that just decimated our panhandle. So uh, right now I'm continuing to uh, try to help people get their power back, get their cell phone service back, make sure they um, help rebuild their houses. We've got over 70,000 people have already signed up for FEMA, and we're trying to work with organized state, federal, and local resources to make sure we keep helping these families. What's your mindset when it comes to helping those hurricane victim families? Because you've got Senator Bill Nelson who can go out there and campaign right now while you're the governor. You have to be on the ground helping those families. Does he have an advantage because of that, or can your response to this help you? Well, the way I think about it, is I grew up in a very poor family in the Midwest, and um, I remember my mom, a single mom, what would, ha what would, what would she want uh, if this happened where she was living, if a tornado came through? Uh, and that's what I think about. I think about all those families. And so I want to make sure they have food and water, a tarp to you know, cover their house. They get uh, FEMA benefits. They get back to work, get their companies open. That's what I think about. Now, my opponent is just fascinating. He said he did a couple photo ops right after it happened, and he said, oh, there's nothing else I can do. I'm going to go back and campaign. If you need me, just give me a call. Uh, you, know, I, you know, look, here's, it's FEMA. It's a federal response organization. They, he could be helpful with that. He could be helpful with Tyndall. Tyndall was decimated. Think about it. That's, that's probably over 20,000 jobs, just that, you know, 11,000 people all working on Tyndall, all those families, and he just... Turns, it back, turns his back to him, says, oh, I'm not worried about you. I'm, he's worried, Bill Nelson is worried about one person's job, his job. So I'm going to keep doing this. Mm -hmm. My wife's on the campaign trail, uh, not something she wanted to do. Uh, I told her I wanted to run for governor eight years ago. She said, that's great. I'm scared of giving public speeches. Uh, <laughs> but that's what she's doing every day now. So <laughs> I feel she's sorry for her. You. All right, let's talk about some of the issues, because you are behind in the polls just by three points. But uh, uh, Bill Nelson, he, his main drivers of his lead apparently are women, blacks, Hispanics, independent voters. What do you say to that group of individuals? Sure. You know, the, we will win for this reason. It's going to be, who cares about you? It's going to be, do you want to do you want to elect somebody like Senator Nelson, who's been in office for 42 years and done nothing? Or do you want to elect somebody like Rick Scott that will show up and do his job? Do you care about a job? We've added 1.6 million jobs since I got elected. Do you care about education, record education funding? Do you care about the environment, record environmental funding? Bill, Senator Nelson does not, has done nothing for the environment other than run an ad. All right. Well, I know. Congratulations on the on the job gains. Yesterday, we were reporting different states, and yours so this September to, compared to last September, 407,000 gains in that month alone. You said 1.6 since you've taken office. I know people there are worried about the algae and uh, that red tide and the environment and immigration. So, where can people find more information about you if they if they're undecided? Go, Scott, go to scottforflorida.com. Okay. Uh, we're going to get everybody out to vote. Right. I know our team's going to do it. We and we'll go. have a big Thank win. you so much. We did invite uh, Senator Bill Nelson, and he declined.